Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're talking about HDMI cables and which HDMI cable should you buy. Well, there are a number of different cables available. There's um, the standard HDMI cable, there's an automotive HDMI cable, and there's also high-speed HDMI cable. And in the case of standard and high-speed, you can also get versions with Ethernet built in. From the point of view of AV for home cinema and that kind of thing, you need to be looking for a high-speed cable. Obviously, automotive is designed for cars. Standard is really out of date now. Do not get standard cables. To make sure that you've got sufficient bandwidth to do what you want to do with the modern world in terms of um, you know, resolutions and HDR and ARC and all these kind of things, you need to make sure that you have a high-speed HDMI cable. Now, you don't need to spend hundreds of pounds. You just need to make sure that it's definitely certified high-speed, that it can do up to 18 gig a second, which is the maximum bandwidth that will need to cover all the new features that are currently available, and that it's reasonably well-made and isn't going to fall apart on you. You can get these kind of cables for about 10 pounds on Amazon. You do not need to spend a fortune. And when you're talking about cable runs of less than five meters, you know, as long as it's a reasonably well-made cable, it's going to be fine for what you need. And if you've got a problem with that cable, you'll notice immediately either you won't get an image or you'll get speckles or the image dropouts, that kind of thing. So don't be fooled into spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on expensive HDMI cables thinking you're going to get these sort of marginal increases in picture quality because you are not. All you need to do is make sure you get a decent quality HDMI high-speed cable. Now, what you want to do is really look for ones that are certified premium. The premium certified high-speed HDMI cables are guaranteed to deliver um, up to 18 gig a second, so you get the full bandwidth that can deliver all the features we currently have, things like 4K and HDR, for example. And that's what you need to do. Um, going forward, there will be HDMI 2.1. That will mean a new cable entirely because the bandwidth is much, much bigger on HDMI 2.1. It's 18 gig on 2.0, it's 48 gig on 2.1, so that will require new cables but as things currently stand no devices actually have HDMI 2.1 so what you're looking at right now is a 18 gig a second high-speed HDMI cable of reasonable quality isn't going to fall apart on you but as I said don't go spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds because you just don't need to do that hopefully you found this video very interesting and if you have then please like and subscribe and don't forget you can find more reviews news articles and videos like this at avforums.com Europe's largest home entertainment community Thanks for watching.